ஹாய் மெரினஸ் திஸ் இஸ் மோகன்தாஸ் ரேடியோ ஆஃபீஸர் ஜிஎம்டிஎஸ்எஸ் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் மென் ஃபார் ஆல் த நேவிகேட்டிங் ஆஃபீஸர்ஸ் அண்ட் ரேடியோ ஆஃபீஸர்ஸ் விஹெச்எஃப் சேனல்ஸ் யூசேஜ் நவம்பர் டூ ஜீரோ டூ த்ரீ from uh, january 1st of january 2024 a uh, lot of changes coming into vhf channels but however uh, to get the channels in the vhf radios and uh, the governments to take steps the aim at given time about four years so after january 1st 2024 when you are sailing to any port in the world if, uh, i i feel that you should contact your agent and find out what is the channel number used by the port radio stations and vts and port state control and all that detail you can ask by email and find out before you reach the port because the those ports must have already changed their vhf channels as per the appendix 18 of radio regulations by itu so with reference to that i have gone through that radio regulation appendix 18 thoroughly so from there uh, all the points without leaving anything i have uh, included in this uh, channel it can be a ready reckoner for you uh, with uh, reference to the appendix 18 of uh, radio regulation from alrs or itu books you go through them then you will understand thank you let us go to the video the imo itu guidelines for vhf channels usage marine band we all know vhf marine band is 156 to 174 megahertz so this frequency band is not changed within this frequencies they have converted many of the duplex channels into simplex and they have authorized the governments to use many channels for various purposes so that is highlighted here abstract from appendix 18 of radio regulation table of transmitting frequencies in the vhf marine mobile band channel 70 all of us know is to be used exclusively for digital selective calling dsc for distress safety and calling so calling includes all the communication distress urgency safety and routine calling okay so channel 70 is exclusively for dsc we all know that when using channel 10 the frequency 156 decimal 5 megahertz and channel 11 156 decimal 55 megahertz all precautions should be taken to avoid harmful interference to channel 70 so channel 70 frequency is 156 decimal 525 so these uh, channel 10 and 11 just 25 kilohertz support that is the reason to avoid interference i am given this guideline when you are using channel 10 and 11 you should be careful that you don't cause any interference to channel 70 the channel 6 70 16 
ए एस वन ए एस टू मे आलसो बी यूज बै एयरक्राफ्ट स्टेशन फॉर द पर्पस् आफ सर्च एंड रेस्क्यू आपरेशन एंड अदर सेफ्टी रिलेटेड आपरेशन सो इफ यू सी दिस रेडियो रेगुलेशन आल दो इट इस गिवन इन ए एल आर एस पब्लिकेशन ऐ टी बुक्स एंड आल बेसिकली इट इस मेन्ट फॉर द गवर्मेंट टू टेक एक्शन एंड फॉर द रेडियो मैनुफैक्चरर्स टू टेक एक्शन and navigators radio officers only the air knowledge you must have that is why they had given in that book so this is what it is channel 670 16 as 1 as 2 may also be used by aircraft stations for the purpose of search and rescue operations and other safety related operations channels 15 and 17 may also be used for on board communication provided the effective radiated power does not exceed 1 watt so all of you know this is uh, the god band for channel 16 15 and 17 should be used for on board communication but generally many of you do not uh, follow the rules but it should be followed channel 15 and 17 In your uh, VHF set, which is there in the navigational bridge, starboard side and port side, the fixed uh, sets, their full power will be 25 watts. When you put on low power, it will go to 1 watt. So in that 1 watt only, using channel 15 and 17, you are authorized to uh, do your onboard communications from the bridge to forward, aft, etc. Channel 15 and 17 with 1 watt. channel 13 is designated for use on a worldwide basis as a navigation safety communication channel primarily for intership navigation safety communications it may also be used for the ship movement and port operation service so channel 13 is primarily for intership and purely navigation and safety channel 13 is intership navigation and safety communications only the channels ais1 and ais2 are used for ais automatic identification system capable of providing worldwide operation this also we all know A is one and A is two may be used by the mobile satellite service Earth to space for the reception of AIS transmission from ships. So you are all aware that A is is now going to satellite and wide range. It covers so you can download A is app and. type the name of the vessel you will find out where the ship is so from the earth to space from the earth to space a is 1 and a is 2 is used these frequencies are used the use of channel 75 frequency 156.775 megahertz and 76 156.825 megahertz should be restricted to navigation related communications only and all precautions should be taken to avoid harmful interference to channel 16 uh, frequency all no 156.8 megahertz by limiting the output power to 1 watt so whenever you use uh, channel 75 and channel 76 you will have to use it on 1 watt power that is the meaning of this slide you can see there is only 25 uh, kilohertz difference in all these three frequencies the space between 16 and 75 16 and 76 only 25 kilohertz that is why harmful interference so you must use 1 watt 
whenever using 75 and 76. Channel 75 and 76 are also allocated to the mobile satellite service Earth to Space for the reception of long range AIS broadcast messages from ships. So, the same two channels, 75 and 76, also used for AIS broadcast Earth to Space. There is something called AIS message 27. This message is primarily intended for long range detection of AIS class A and class B equipped vessels typically by satellite. So this is a kind of message transmitted from the AIS class A and class B systems. This is just for information for you. Channels 21, 22, 23, 81, 82, 83 may be operated as single or duplex frequency channels. So basically they are all duplex channels. Now the rule is you can use it as a single or duplex frequency channels. Channels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 18, 19, 20, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 78 and 79 may be operated as single frequency channels. So with the reference of your radio relation appendix 18, you can check up all these channels. The following conditions apply for single frequency usage. The lower frequency portion of these channels may be operated as single frequency channels by ship and coast stations. Transmission using the upper frequency portion of these channels is limited to coast stations only. So what is this lower frequency and upper frequency? If you see the chart that appendix 18 the transmitting frequency, the first column is mentioning ship transmitting frequency. The second column is your shore coast radio transmitting frequency. So the ship's transmitting frequency here and after will be called as lower frequency portion and the coast station transmitting frequency is upper frequency portion. So if you have given all the channels separately, so you will uh, identify them. If permitted by administrations and specified by national regulations, the upper frequency portion of these channels may be used by ship stations for transmission. So earlier slide, they said it is meant for coast stations. Now they are saying the government can decide and authorize ship stations also for transmissions. The channels with the exception of channels, exception 6, 13, 15, 16, 17, 70, 75, 76 may also be used for high speed data, facsimile transmissions, direct printing telegraphy and data transmission. All precautions should be taken to avoid harmful interference to channels AIS-1, AIS-2, 2027, 2028. See all these four digit channels you will come across now. Okay, starting with one and two, four digits. Earlier we know only two digit channels. Now the new introduction is four digit channels.
from 1st January 2019, channel 2027 will be designated as ASM1, channel 2028 will be designated as ASM2. In the AS, ASM means application specific messages. So 2027, 2028, these two channels. These uh, channels uh, I will explain further in future in the upcoming videos, slides. Okay. All the channels starting with 10, they are all used to be the ship station transmitting frequency. All the uh, four digit channels starting with 20 are used to be the coast station transmitting frequency. So they would divided them. All these four digit channels, either starting with 10 or 20, they all became simplex. The transmitting and receiving on the same frequency. That we'll see now. So the, here AISM means application specific messages that is relevant to AIS. For these 2027, 2028, both channels are used. From 1st January 2019, channel 1027, 1028, 87, and 88 are used as single frequency analog channels for port operation and ship movement. Okay. So here and after you will find many of these channels will be used for VTS. Administrations may designate frequencies in the intership, port operations and ship movement services for use by light aircraft and helicopters uh, to communicate with ships or participating coast station in predominantly maritime support operations. The preferred first uh, three channels are channel 9, 72 and 73. Within the European Maritime Area and in Canada, channels 10, 67, 73 may also be used if so required by the individual administrations concerned for communication between ship stations, aircraft stations and participating land stations engaged in coordinated search and rescue and anti-pollution operations in local areas. You must have come across this map in ITU manual and also ALRS. Uh, these are the regions for communication. Uh, here and after some of the slides may quote these regions. So region 1 is Africa and Europe. Region 2 is American continent, North and South America. Region 3 is the entire Asia including Australia and India. Okay. In region 2, that is North and South America, the channels 24, 25, 26, 84, 85, 86 are designated for digitally modulated emissions. From 1st January 2019, in Canada and Barbados, <coughs> the channels 24, 25, 84, 85 may be used for digitally modulated emissions. From 1st January 2017 in China, the channels 23, 24, 25, 26, 83, 84, 85, 86 are designated for digitally modulated emissions.
in the united states channels 27 and 28 are used for communication between ship stations and coast stations for the purpose of public correspondence the list of lower and upper frequency portions of channels so here you can see the four digit channels earlier <coughs> all these years we have been seeing only two digit channels now from 2024 1st january imos authorized to use all these four digit channels so the channels starting with 10 are the lower frequency portion of channels they are 26 in numbers okay here if you notice the ship station transmitting frequency and coast station transmitting frequency is same okay that means they are all simplex channels the parent channel of 01 the two digit channel is a duplex channel that is split into four channels the lower frequency will have this one and 2001 also may be there that is upper frequency so like that all these uh, parent channels are the last two digits 63 05 65 66 07 from there the ship's transmitting frequency is taken for both in from that list uh, ship's transmitting frequency is used here for ship station also coast station also okay they were all duplex channels totally 26 in number lower frequency portion the lower frequency continues now here if you notice there are some nodes wwx wx and all that and that also explained all this so all the channels uh, starting with one zero is lower frequency portion w is in regions one and three from first january 2017 channels 80 21 81 22 82 23 83 24 84 25 85 26 86 are identified for the utilization of the digital systems so there are number of channels uh, now going in for digital system the reason being i think i explained earlier also uh, they are uh, your voice is converted into binary codes 0 and 1 so they occupy very less space ultimately your uh, interference will not be there when you compare analog and digital this is the greatest advantage so they are minimizing the analog transmission and maximizing the digital transmissions so that interference is uh, not there because the spacing also going to be reduced between the channels ww in region 2 that is north and south america channels 24 84 25 85 26 86 are designated for digitally modulated emissions in canada and barbados from 1st january 2019 channels 24 84 25 85 may be used for digitally modulated emissions X from uh, 1st January 2017 all these countries uh, the channels 82, 23, 83, 24, 84, 25, 85, 26, 86 are designated for digitally modulated emissions. Quite a few numbers of countries. From 1st January 2017 in China channels, uh, all these channels are designated for digitally modulated emissions.
XX. From f- uh, 1st January 2019, the channel is 24, 84, 25, 85. May be merged in order to form a unique duplex channel with a bo- bandwidth of 100 kilohertz in order to operate the VDES terrestrial component. VDS means VHF data exchange system. Z from 1st January 2019 channels 27 and 28 are each split into two simplex channels. Okay. Each one of them 2 2 that means 4 should be there. The channel 2027 and 2028 designated as ASM1 and ASM2 are used for application specific message. ASM this is uh, uh, with respect to your AIS system. AIS automatic identification system. ZZ from 1st January 2019 channels 1027, 1028, 8788 are used as single frequency analog channels for port operation and ship movement. Now comes the upper frequency ports and channels, there are only 13 of them. So, upper frequency you can identify with the starting 2-0. Originally, with this uh, uh, parent channel, if you see 0-6, uh, which was a duplex, the co-station transmitting frequency was uh, this. So, that now becomes simplex. You see, these are all simplex only. Simplex means same frequency for ship station, coast station. Your transmitter and your receiver, both will have the same frequency. So, whenever you communicate in simplex operation, what you do uh, in uh, the walkie-talkie in the simplex channel, you are all used to. So, when you press the microphone and talk, you cannot receive because of the same frequency. Once you release it, then you will be able to get it. Okay. <coughs> the upper frequency portion channels continued. Some more remarks here. So, this letter R, the note is, in the Maritime Mobile Service Channel 2006, 2006, the upper portion, is reserved for experimental use for future applications or systems. Example, new AIS applications, man overboard systems, etc. These AIS application and MOB systems are presently under research and development. So, for that, this channel is allocated. This is reserved for experimental use. M M transmission on channels 2078, 2019, 2079, 2020 is limited to co-stations. All precautions should be taken to avoid harmful interference to channels AS1, AS2, 2027, 2028. So, all these channels are related to AS only. This is the, these two channels are used for uh, satellite communication, okay, from ground to satellite, Earth to satellite. These also, all the four are used for uh, satellite communications also. So, why they are saying interference? Because these frequencies, these channel frequencies may be with close proximity with these frequencies. That is why they say harmful interference. From 
from 1st January 2019, channel 2027 will be designated as ASM1, channel 2028 will be designated as ASM2, ASM means application specific message related to AIS. That's all. All the points, valid points, which are very important, I've uh, mentioned my YouTube. Now, support me for my efforts, time spent on maintaining the inter infrastructure. You may donate using this QR code. Thanks. Instead, you may buy super thanks. Okay. I've been taking this BSc Nautical Science GMDS portion in uh, Indian Maritime University for seven years from 2009 to 2016 uh, where I was a GMDS faculty also. That time I found that a lot of portions from the DG shipping from IMU itself not covered. That is why I came up with this book. This is a publication of mine. It is uh, mainly it is covering this Indian SAR and some advanced uh, in the GMDSS uh, uh, Iridium satellites details and all that. It is good for the students as well as uh, regular nautical officers. The price is 100 rupees. It is an e-book available in Amazon Kindle store. You can buy and make use of them. In my YouTube Mariners Digest, you will find 19 videos with the GMDSS practical examination uh, step by step operating procedure with my voiceover. So those who are doing GMDSS examination can benefit out of these 19 videos. Uh, please click uh, like uh, bell buttons and subscribe. Please give your comments in YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye until next video.